Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. In this video we will be talking about how to install Google Ads conversion tracking in Shopify. Let's get into it. Let's go to my webpage, how to add Google Ads conversion tracking to Shopify. And once you've loaded this page, you can go and scroll down to the bottom, near the bottom, and this is where the code example. Before we copy this, we will need to know our Google Ads ID. You can find this by going to your Google Ads account. In the top right corner, you can choose Tools and Settings, then navigate to Conversions. You will see that I already have a Purchase Shopify website source action included. Then click on the plus button here, select Website. In the category, we want to choose Purchase, and you can call it anything you like. For example, Shopify Purchase. We want to select use a different value for each conversion. This means that every conversion that you track will have a value that is different. We want to count every conversion. Within the last 30 days, the view through conversion can be one day. We want to, of course, include this in conversions. This means that any automatic bidding system can use this. And we want to change the attribution model to the one that fits your need. You can choose something completely different, but for my recommendation, I choose position based. If you like to know more about the different attribution models, then I recommend going to the following page. On this page, you can learn more about the attribution models, all the different models, what the benefits are and how to change it. Let's get back to the Google Ads section. Now that you've done that, click on Create and Continue. Before we click on Install the tag yourself, we want to go and enable Enhanced Conversions. This seems to be a new feature starting from July 2021, and this is a response most likely for the Apple iOS 14 update, where users are prompted to not be tracked. To allow for better accurate tracking, uh, Google has introduced a new feature. Now let's go ahead and do this. Uh, it seems to be that you do need to have a Google Analytics code installed on your website for it to work. So before you do this step, go and install Google Analytics. It's quite easy. Uh, so first what we would need to do is go and enter the URL. Just go and check the URL. There we go. So now we choose and leave enter JavaScript or CSS selectors. And we also want to leave the global site tag. And now we want to select email. I've already entered the value, but we want to choose JavaScript and enter in enhanced underscore conversion underscore data dot email. Now this value is actually already added in the conversion code on my website. So let's go and have a look at my code. So when we go to my website, near the bottom of the website, you will see here a variable, and this is called enhanced conversion data. And here we can see email. So to select this, we want to say enhanced underscore conversions underscore data dot email, because it's an object. And we want to do the same for all the other values. The list of values that you need to use is available if you scroll a little bit higher, and here you can see the values. So for example, for the street, it will be a little bit different. So it will be enhanced underscore conversions underscore data dot home underscore address dot street and so on and so on. Uh, previously, I have done this by selecting CSS selectors, but that was very unreliable because it was only available for the email. The other values that we can see here was not available as a CSS selector. So therefore I've rebuilt the conversion tracking uh, to version 1.5 and above will have this included. So you can easily go and select this. So you want to do the same for the phone. So that will be phone number. 
I've already populated everything, so that's why it's already written down. But these are the values that you need to do and simply click on save. And that is it for enabling the enhanced conversions uh, during the setup of your conversion tracking in Google Ads. We want to install the tag ourselves. And what we want to do is copy this part into a new text file or you can click on download snippet. Once you open it, you will see that your conversion ID is located here. This is what we need to copy and replace the code on my website. The easiest way to move forward is to simply create a new text file, go to the page and copy the latest version available. Now paste this in your empty section here. There we go. And now what we want to do is replace this line of code. Open your downloaded snippet. Copy this and go here and replace it. Now copy all of this code and let's go to Shopify. We want to go to settings, checkout, scroll down until we say order processing and go to additional scripts and simply paste it in here. And that is pretty much it. All you have to do is click on save. Then once you have finished the setup on Google Ads, it will eventually say recording conversions or if it has no conversions, it will show as recently seen X amount of days ago. So as long as it doesn't say unverified, then your conversion tracking is working. And that is all you have to do for installing Google Ads conversion tracking on Shopify. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.